Hatshepsut was among ancient Egypt's most outstanding figures, being one of the few women to rule as pharaoh. Her story is fascinating and steeped in political intrigue and remarkable achievements. Hatshepsut was born around 1508 BC. She was the daughter of Pharaoh Tutmos I and Queen Amos. Her birth name meant the noblest of noblewomen. It became clear from an early age that Hatshepsut was no average child. Her eyes were piercing, charged with purpose, as if she already knew that she was destined for great things. As she grew up, Hatshepsut revealed outstanding wit and intelligence, learning from the wise men and advisors around the royal court. She was a keen observer, eagerly absorbing every teaching. Her father Tutmos I spotted her potential and educated her in the art of ruling and leadership, setting her up to one day take on responsibilities that challenged the conventions of her time. When her half-brother and husband Tutmos II took the throne, Hatshepsut became queen, but she was not merely satisfied with filling an ornamental role. She soon became an influential advisor and a political influence behind the scenes, steering Tutmos II in his decisions and shaping the fate of the kingdom. The untimely death of Tutmos II nevertheless cast a shadow over Egypt. Tutmos III, his son with a concubine, was still too young to rule by himself. At a pivotal moment, Hatshepsut stepped into the role of regent, vowing to protect the throne and the Egyptian people. But Hatshepsut harbored even loftier ambitions. Knowing her ability and determined to ensure the stability of Egypt, she took a bold decision. She declared herself Pharaoh, adopting the full title of Matkare, meaning truth of Ra is the soul of Ra. Wearing the insignia and costumes traditionally assigned to male pharaohs, she defied gender norms and boldly proclaimed her authority. Egypt blossomed as never before under her reign. Hatshepsut pushed for peace and prosperity, rebuilding ancient temples and boosting trade with distant nations. She also ordered expeditions along the Red Sea and to Nubia, enlarging Egypt's domains and securing her position as an outstanding leader. Her greatest legacy, however, was to be written in stone. Hatshepsut commissioned magnificent works, including the splendid Temple of Deir al-Bahari, testifying to the grandeur of her reign and her devotion to the Egyptian gods. Each block of stone, each hieroglyph, contained the story of an exceptional woman who defied convention and left an everlasting mark on the history of her people. But fate is so often cruel to those who defy established norms. Hatshepsut's death is surrounded by mystery, and there is no definitive conclusion about the exact circumstances of her passing. Some historians argue that she may have died of natural causes, such as illness, but there are also theories suggesting that her death may have been the outcome of conspiracies and murder. Following Hatshepsut's death, her stepson, Tutmos III, rose to the throne and tried to erase her memory by purging her name from numerous monuments and inscriptions. But Hatshepsut's legacy could not be so easily erased. Centuries later, Egyptologists went on to revive her story and acknowledge her greatness. The woman who became Pharaoh, Hatshepsut, is now celebrated as one of the most distinguished rulers of ancient Egypt, a visionary who challenged the expectations of her time and left a lasting legacy for future generations. This is how the story of Hatshepsut, the great Matkare, lives on through the centuries, constantly reminding us of the power of determination, courage, and vision to change the course of history.